More than 40 screeners at the Honolulu airport have been fired or suspended because the TSA says they did not properly screen bags for explosives. Transportation correspondent Mark Strassman has more on the TSA's air travel safety record. In the decade since 9-11, the TSA has screened 5 billion air travelers, any one of them a potential threat. The agency has a daunting mission, be ever vigilant for signs of organized terror. We know that we face an enemy that is determined, that is resourceful, creative in their design and how they construct and conceal devices. What are you off to today? And the TSA is also adjusting its approach. At this terminal at Boston's Logan Airport, officers have started questioning every passenger about their travel plans. It's the latest way for the agency to size up passenger behavior and risk. 9-11 security failings helped create the TSA, which has never allowed a successful terrorist strike. But the agency itself has often come under attack. Critics see overzealous agents patting down children and seniors full body scanners that invade privacy and inefficiency. They're taking your shoes off, I mean, come on. Soon kids 12 and under going through security will be able to keep their shoes on and only rarely will they be patted down. In a recent CBS News New York Times poll, most Americans support the TSA. But since 2002, an increasing percentage, almost one in four people, believe TSA techniques go too far. Some of them are just stupid, mm. time wasting. Clearly, we are safer now than we were 10 years ago. But in the U.S. Government Accountability Office, the GAO, recently faulted the TSA for failing to update equipment to screen checked baggage. Clearly, we're not perfect, and we're going to have to continue to work hard to be ahead of anyone who is attempting to do us harm. No security system is foolproof, and the push is on to make the TSA screen itself for potential trouble to make sure America's skies stay safe. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Boston.